Okay, so it uh, looks like we're going to need a little glue on the two pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, 3M uh, spray adhesive to spray in the inside of the housing, right front. And I'm going to also uh, spray on the inside of the LCD. Oh, I'm sorry, on the inside of the uh, touch screen. And the uh, placement of your tape doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, obviously, it just needs to be covering up the um, the opening, so to prevent glue from getting in. Um, and as far as the touch screen, you just want to uh, maybe cover up the the cable. And I'll show you a neat trick later as to how to remove glue. Access it excessive glue uh, from areas that you don't want to have glue. Okay, so it looks like we're ready. So, I mean, this this is just a kind of multi-purpose adhesive. You could definitely use other types of adhesive. Maybe even double-sided tape might work, um, which was actually what was on the original. Uh, we're going to give it about <clears throat> maybe 10 seconds or so, or maybe about 30 seconds to have the glue set. And I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape. So it's a little sticky, but it's alright. What we're going to do is insert the cable into the opening, as you can see, and place the um, touch grain onto the plastic. And now we're going to go ahead and place the <clears throat> cover back onto the um, mid section where the LCD is mounted. Um, so, but I do notice that there's some dust particles on the LCD, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, clean that with um, maybe a can of air, compressed air. You're going to try to get all the dust particles off of it as much as possible. Uh, there could be a few persistent pieces on there. so. It looks like there are actually. So I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of uh, lint-free cloth to wipe that off. Okay, that looks to be pretty good. And let's give it one final blow. I'm going to go ahead and pull the cable from the inside so I don't get <clears throat> it sandwiched in between. And if you notice, the, uh, the volume um, toggles are um, supposed to be in the phone right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it back up a little bit to get the volume keys back in toggle back in. Uh, let's see here. There seems to be one way of doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this open a little bit further. So 
So here is the toggle. Um, also notice that there's the uh, con control buttons that are need to be mounted before I pop the case back in. So I'm going to need to open up the back of it one more time. As you can see, uh, right now I've got the touchscreen uh, encased in the uh, front housing and the midsection. And we're going to go ahead and um, um, put the circuit board back in place. I'm going to go ahead and um, reconnect all the cables, um, but first off, we're going to go ahead and reinsert the tube for the antenna, ribbon for the uh, touchscreen, and you want to make sure that the ribbon is all the way in the latch before you close the latch, and the antenna. The screws behind the antennas. Cable for the camera, cable for the buttons on the side and the cable for the LCD. Uh, you want to just kind of go over them one more time just in case um, if they come loose because you want to make sure obviously they're uh, in place before you close the um, cover. There's one more screw to secure the antenna. I'm going to go ahead and put those in, put that in. And so everything um, is, all the screws, all the connections are made at this point. I'm going to go ahead and put the front cover. Uh, I should say the back cover, back onto the phone. And there are, of course, uh, four screws remaining, which uh, will close the phone. Once you've secured the uh, phone with all the screws. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery back, back battery door. So now we've got the um, touch screen replaced on the LG View. Uh, the last thing you want to do is actually clean up the um, surfaces, where, surfaces where you've got glue um, on the phone. So we're going to go ahead and use a um, household uh, adhesive remover. Uh, this adhesive remover could be purchased anywhere from a local hardware store. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and dab some of that onto a towel or paper towel or whatever. And uh, you could just freely wipe the surfaces where there is glue. And <clears throat> After all the glue is removed, uh, you want to go over it one more time with the um, a light uh, cleaning agent. So uh, that would be it, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, and uh, this concludes our tutorial on how to remove uh, a touchscreen off of an LG View.